We don't really know the root cause for pilonidal cysts. There's different theories that abound. There's one that is the board answer, but even that is in contention. All we do know is that hair somehow impacts underneath the skin. It gets impacted at the follicle level and starts a cavitation process through that infection, which then becomes larger and larger and incorporates other hair follicles within it. Some measures that have been considered to potentially limit your risk of a pilonidal cyst is hair removal in that area, in the tailbone area. The truth is we don't really know if it will make that go away because what's happening with a pilonidal cyst is at the root level. And so if you shave the area, shaving doesn't affect the root level of a pilonidal cyst or a hair follicle to be precise. Will laser hair do that? Laser hair does go to the root level, but is it effective at preventing a pilonidal cyst? The evidence still isn't there. Evidence isn't there that it doesn't help necessarily, but we don't have clear evidence that it does. And so the one thing you could potentially do that maybe, and I stress maybe, may decrease the risk of getting a pilonidal cyst is hair removal in that area, especially if you have a hairy background within yourself or your family, or you have other family members, be it siblings or parents that have had a pilonidal cyst, and say, I will proactively get that area treated with hair removal, maybe then without evidence could I say that may help, um, but there's no clear thing that we know that could help prevent this happening for patients that it does happen.